I'm back. Now I gotta get everything back and going again. Um, hold on. I gotta, I gotta put you guys back on the other, um, the, that's not it. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Uh, back on the other camera to, so I can see you guys' words and stuff. All right, so back to this. Let's, um, I'm really liking this, this, it's kind of a gray blue. Kind of a gray blue. So we're gonna put some of this underneath. Kind of fade it out. Then I want to bring in some of the dusty blue, maybe on the other side. It's a little bit darker. Oh my gosh, I watched the neatest uh, video this morning while I was waiting to get, or getting ready for work. And it's like you do dots, little dots of, um, um, acrylic paints like in the shape of a flower and then you just leave it and then you take a balloon and you like smash it in there and pull it up really slow oh my gosh it leaves the neatest effect ever it's really really cool really really cool Of that to come up there, so I uh, <laughs> I am the biggest palette knife fan in the world, so I really like this. But all right, what we're gonna do now, though, is um, get these out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and uh, use a brush, and I actually. We'll probably use a couple because we're going to use something down here and then we're going to need something fresh up there. But I, I missed it down and get the bristles kind of wet. Um, and then I'm going to dampen this down a little bit so it, the paint flows a little bit more. And I'm going to just start in the center and, and come down. And you can even... Um, Bring it up like this if you want. Now listen, this isn't the final deal, so don't freak out. This is just to get the color going and get it started. Now I'm gonna switch to this other one. And always um, make sure you do the sides of your of your canvas. So I'm not liking how that's not flowing good enough yet. So here we go. What I'm doing, I'm dabbing off my brush. Um, as I go. I'm gonna angle that a little bit. Want that to fade a little bit. That's looking better. I'm gonna bring some white in down in here. I'll probably bring that yellow back into it. I 
I should use a brighter yellow. I think I will. And I need a plate. Yes, there we go. There we go, that's what we're missing. Loving that much better. All right, I'm gonna come back and get some white. Lighten that up down the floor. Even though it actually gets dark, kind of dark, doesn't it? I'm gonna try this other orange and see what that does. It's a different color. I don't know if I want that in there or not. I like that. Mm. I'm just going back and forth um, for no reason. Making a mess. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I, I wanna come back in with that really bright yellow again. So, and that's my acrylic yellow, just a basic yellow. Go and just get some basic acrylic, the colors. And you know, if you wanna go crazy and get other colors, that's fine. Or I mean other shades or, you know, that's fine. Uh, but if you wanna start out, just go get your basic colors, you know, your your standard primary colors. Um, I don't know that I want that so much. No, I want some, I want some, I want some salmon. I just want that salmon in there a little bit. I always like that for a sunset. But anyway, this is what we're gonna come back and do for those clouds, so. And we might, actually, we might do it while it's wet because I kind of liked that, that effect. So, um, wonder, I'm looking for a round, flat, something like this, kind of like a stippling brush, but I want it bigger, kind of had a bigger one. One. Is that what I want? Yes. We'll try this. All right. Actually, you know what we need is some. Maybe. Maybe I'm just gonna totally screw it up. Who knows? I don't know, guys. What do you think? This is what we're gonna try. It's gonna be crazy. Ooh, I like that. Okay, here's what we're doing. Uh, we're doing purple and orange. And so I'm gonna get some of both colors on my plate. Just a minute. Okay. All right, see that? And I'm gonna go like this. One on this side and the orange on the other side. Let's see what happens. Uh, twirl your brush as you go. Yeah. I like that purple and maybe I need some more purple. isn't really showing up much. I'm just 
just going to let it fade out. See what we do in here. I look totally dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. This is the good part. You can always cover it, brush it back out. All right. Um, about some purple in there though. Really like that. We'll brush it. Like trying not to get it so um, in one line there, so that's why I'm kind of doing this up motion or whatever you want to call it. You know, I. I don't make things exactly like I see them, so if you see, if you want it exactly like that, you go for it. Um, if you seriously show me up, man, I want to see your, I want to see your pictures. Your, um, I do like that brush though. Let me clean it out. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff here. I don't even know where my water is. Um, I want to see what this does with just basic orange. Uh, oh, maybe I need white. Okay. Maybe that's a ticket. Big of a brush. Hmm. No, I don't like that. Seriously, kids, I think we're gonna go all with the palette knife now because I, I really want. You know what? It's it's we got the blending on there, so I'm good with that. So let's go ahead and let's just do this, but. Go with your orange and your white, both on the palette knife, and let's see what happens. I just like that texture to look, you guys. Yeah, I like that. And I want a touch of the yellow. Coming down here. I wish there wasn't a glare, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, does that help if I had it up a little bit? It does, doesn't it? Just a smidge. And that's all we need is a smidge. That help. And I'm just loading up the palette knife again. There's still a glare, isn't there? Ah! I have to work on that and get it, get it gone. Gosh dang it. I just wipe the 
the palette knife off a little bit. I'm gonna come up and down both sides here. It's not always such a streaky. All right, we're gonna some of this white up above. Some more white, excuse my arm. And don't freak out if you get some colors in there, it is okay. Now this is, I know it's a sunset, but here we go. We got clouds up above and we got I don't know, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Um, let's see. Clouds, I just wasn't liking, so this is, um, I don't know. I'd rather do this. This is what we're going to do. It is what it is. Um, so I think, you know, when I think I'm satisfied with this much of it, I'm going to pull that tape off of the church and... I'll go ahead and work work on this. The church, of course, we're going to work on last because it's um, we might add a little bit of you know additional knife painting around. Gosh, I wish that that was a glare. We may have to come up even more. About that. Oh, dang it! I should have left it on the. I think next time I'll just go ahead and leave it on the easel and do it that way. This is another thing you can do for texture. Kind of like that, what that balloon thing was doing. As it dries, it gets tacky. And then you can kind of brush over it and it, and it gives it that or smooth over it. And I think it just gives it a lot more texture. I really like that. I love texture. So, um, so we will come back later with the palette knife and um, and probably bring in some more colors. So, you know, it could get even more crazier than what it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this area a little bit light because it seems like the light is projecting up that way, but it is it's more of a light white color or light blue color than the sunset color. It's up above into the clouds. So. All right. I've, um, I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit more. Even though I just did the texture. Um, I think I want some pink in there. Um, other than salmon. Let's see what it, hey, let's try some neon. I think it needs some neon pink in there. That's what it needs. 
I think that's what's that, gonna make that sunset pop a little bit. Not a lot, not a lot, Shannon. This is what I'm using. Not a lot, Shannon. Don't go crazy. I actually put it in some of the white. So, because this side just, see that? Yeah, we don't want a whole lot in there, but we just want a little bit. Just a little bit. again this down below is just not I'm not pleased with it at all yet right in here maybe it just needs to be darker what do you think because I'm trying to see where that church because like right off the middle it's it does get a little bit deeper color. Now actually, you know, we can we should just stop on the sky and pull that tape off because once this starts drying, um, like I said, we're gonna finish up a little bit more uh, on the texture and the colors on the sky um, after, it's like one of the last few things that we'll, we will do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop and pull that tape off and we'll work on um, something else. So carefully pull that tape off. Actually, uh, it's not too bad. Um, I can see from the picture, um, we're gonna do some deep yellow right over here in the corner, but we'll do that after a while. These are good good colors to get started with. So, um, I wanna see what this looks like though first. I'm just testing a color I might use later on somewhere. All right, I gotta put some lids back on some things here before I like dump something all over. So bear with me a second. Cause we're gonna get some more colors out. And another plate. I get so much stuff setting out on my table and I'm like, oh, I don't even know where stuff went. So it's crazy. All right, next time guys, I will be, I will use the easel because this is just too much glare. And I'm trying to find something. To, I could probably use my white, but I'm gonna be using my white. I need something taller to put underneath there without it falling down so um I really don't I really don't have anything right now so we're just gonna go don't worry about this it's gonna get covered, covered up and I'm off all right there I'm gonna move this up a little bit because we're gonna be working down here um okay I'm gonna just missed it a little bit just a little bit. I'm gonna get um, some brown in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, oh geez, stuff's gonna fall. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and start with the darkest color. I need a new plate. Hey, did you guys, did I show you guys the, the finished um, result of that patina? That's how it dried. Is that not awesome or what? I want to do a, um, a piece of furniture and I want to have that stuff coming down off of the, like the hardware, like it's rusting and drippy. Isn't that gonna be cool? All right, I gotta take a close look. Oh, neat, look, I got paint on the picture already. That's awesome. That's par for the course. Okay, down right in here is the darkest, right along that bottom line. So we're gonna get that in there. Like I said, don't forget the sides. And don't worry, you guys, we're, we're layering colors. We are layering colors and just getting base colors. I gave you guys the picture of what we were going to do ahead of time. So if you have wanted to print it off and you know, if that makes it easier to go by, cause I've followed other artists and I'm trying to paint along with them. And it is so hard because they go so fast and I don't even know what they're looking at. You may hear a sound and I don't have to explain what that is. Cause it's probably a soda or something like that. Um, <laughs> so this is, it, there's snow in there. So we're gonna have grays and all that in there. We're gonna fill, uh, um, Actually, I might bring that down. I might bring this, yeah, I'm gonna bring that shape down a little bit more because that's just too much snow area. And now I gotta get that. This comes down here and then that goes up there. a thingy there a thingy I have real technical word let me tell you all right there's a lot of paint in there but you know what that's okay yes we're doing palette knife <laughs> I guess I decided that now there's up in here is gonna be very hard to see, but there's steps and I think the base of the church, the foundation. I'm gonna mix black and this brown with that because it's the darkest besides the roof. Uh, it, it's almost the darkest part of the whole picture. So um, I'm gonna come all the way up here or up a little bit higher because so much paint on here right now. I'm going to utilize that. I want to get it up to that Smear and butter on a piece of toast. Okay, now um, I want to add. I want this to be dry, this edge. So let's go ahead and bring in some of the lighter color, the tan, the caramel. Um, I'm just using these colors. Whatever I have laying around, basically. 
really love this caramel. I love it for um, doing people. And I wish I thought I had the person printed off and ready for this week. But, you know, it. it's just been, I want to say a zoo. But it's only me, and it's it's crazy. I can't believe it. But, um... some crusties there we go um it's been crazy and i thought i had it printed off so we could do this and i did not i did not have it printed off i'm getting i'm just getting some colors in there because we will use a liner brush to draw in some of that oh crap i used sorry I didn't swear um, to draw in those. You can see the grasses uh, right up in here and it sticks down here. So we will um, use a liner brush to do some of the detail. This it, um, is not exact, and I don't want it to be exact because that's how, that's how I paint. And um, I just, I don't know. If I wanted it exact, I'd probably have to try it in oils or something, I'm not sure. But that's just how I, I'm not, if I do detail, it's probably more on a flower. <laughs> imagine that but um there's a little bit of dark streak right in here that I want and it actually runs all the way all the way across because it's a there's a it's a bump it's a bump. So let's get that in there because we'll come back with some, with the liner brush probably and do some of those grass, grass spikes. Sometimes my words are not the best. All right, so let's do a little bit more of this lighter brown up closer and then we're gonna bring in that caramel. And I'm just gonna do this kind of a motion, like it could be grass blowing. <laughs> or just to see a brown. We don't know. Is anybody here? All right, here comes the caramel. And it's going to be the lightest color in there. May have to bring in some white too, but above in here. I'm going right where that dark line is. This is going to be the lightest because it's on the top of that heel. it in too much I mean we could even do that for the grass but I want to use the brush later on it's I think it would look a little bit better okay So now I want to bring in a little bit of black. I think we'll go ahead and use the acrylic. And we're going to mix that dark brown and the black. A little bit of the black to get that um, 
foundation of the church color because I don't want to go totally black. This is what I'm doing. A black and dark brown. I'll be bringing in a little bit more dark brown. All right. So we're just going right on the base of that church. And there's there's steps. And we'll make a highlighted detail of that once we get to the final touches but we're gonna get the dark color on there for now I think I'm going to come in and bring in some, I'm going to bring in my caramel again. Just to show that, you know, it's that foundation of the church is, you know, it's the, the grass is covering that up. Now that glare is bothering me. I might use some of this this dark black brown right in here and just kind of come up. I'm using the angle of the the palette knife and I just want it because it falls down it falls down in here and it shows a shadow because the light is not on it. Okay. So we'll just go back and kind of bring that up a little bit. Get it blended into that dark brown a little bit because it, you know, it's kind of like a cliff. It's kind of like a cliff. And now I'm going to bring that dark brown back right on the top of that and kind of soften that a little bit. Okay. Now we need to. Um, I think I want to bring in a little bit of white. There's a little bit of white. Oh, I say that, and then it it, <laughs> it may not happen. I want to find my little itty bitty. There it is. There it is. My itty bitty thing. Um. So I'm getting white. But I think I'm going to wipe most of it off. There's not a whole lot in the bottom of that, okay? And I think I want to go on the, like, top of that caramel. So 
hard to see with that darn glare. Now to me, it reminds me of the grass, but there's a little bit of snow in there. All right, I think we're gonna have to blow dry these edges now around the church, around here, and then around here because we need to get white in there and I want that to be a solid um, line so I don't smear the this into the white. Okay, so please bear with me. I'm gonna run the hair dryer. I know. It's the worst thing everybody could ever do on the videos, but here it is. So I apologize for the noise. space here's my white you guys it's horrible <laughs> yes every color in the rainbow is in there but you know what I did I just went and got a um, big gallon of interior flat house paint wall paint and that's what I use you guys when I paint instead of just chalk paint I just use the flat white because you go through so much white and black and so this saves you so much money um, so okay we're gonna blob this on just like a butter just like we did up above a little bit but um, this stuff is so thick that um, you're gonna get a very cool um, texture anyway if you get use this thick stuff I don't want it on top of the thing so I'm taking advantage of the thickness and I'm actually gonna make it look like snow piles or snow I'm even gonna let it dry like this but I'm going to put some colors in there. Hopefully it's going to work out that. Um, so you can see a little bit of gray or, you know, gray blue. But I want it really. Um, I have to look, but I can't think of what it's called. But there's some medium that you can actually add to your paint that will give you this thickness. Um, this gallon of white is um, old, so I'm sure when I bought it, it did not look this thick. So, <laughs> all right, now I'm just trying to get it on there just to get it, fill it in. I have to use a brush just to get it around the sides. Clean brush. Uh. 
All right. Um, here's my picture. I'm actually going to use this technique. It's kind of giving it a really cool texture right now. And I'm going to go with it. There is a blob. We don't want that. Another blob. I guess I'm trying to look at the picture and go with the direction of the snow. Kind of give it some direction so it looks like drifts or something, but all right, I'm gonna see what I can do with some gray. I might need to keep that close. Let's Oh, I need some on a plate. Let's just do that. Let's just goober some on a plate. Like you're spackling the wall. <laughs> All right. So that's handy. And we'll probably put some speckles of black and brown in there, too. Um, I think... I really love this color. Actually, I have a half opened one somewhere where is it uh, found it <sighs> kind of liking that sky the more it dries it's pretty cool um all right i'm gonna use my little one this might be too. I need it more. Um, my water. It's very. Uh, it's too thick, so I'm getting it a little bit moist with the water, with the mister. I'm just spraying water in here like this. Most of you probably be appalled at the, yeah, my brushes and my paints are, are ridiculous. Okay, so down below, of course, is gonna be more of the shaded. Um, you're gonna see a lot of the shade. Uh, there is a kind of a snowbank that comes up there, so I'm gonna put some there. Put some down below and on the sides. I'll probably use that brush again, but I want to get some of this color in there. And here, there is a that snowbank comes, and then there's kind of a ridge that comes here, and this is a big. Kind of a shaded part. I'm gonna come here. And over here is like where the wind blew it out. Alright, I think oh, it's enough of that. Let's let's do I'm back with the white now and shape this a little bit. So this was kind of like a snowbank. Kind of like it was a snowbank. that 
to stay bright up there. Right, we gotta add our 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 grasses are gonna make the big difference down in here, I think. Um, our grass stems. I have to make this as a shadow, so I wanna blend that a little bit. There. And then this This shadowy down there because just because that's what I want to do. So this shadow, this snowbank, there's like a oh my gosh, I never am good with my words describing things. I would be horrible if like the police ever asked me details of something, I'd be like, um, I can draw it. I can't tell you because my words, I have no words because my words don't work. <laughs> okay, let's leave that kind of shadowy there. And da, 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 this, this is all kind of dark. This actually comes all the way up the darkness and I want to add some brown in down into the snow too. Uh, this is darker over here so I still add some basic gray too. This was um, a neutral blue-gray. Now I'm adding a light gray, which is goobery too. Um, I might wet that down too. nice blend I like that because it's more dark over here and I want to keep that the light source coming in the right direction bring it across over that neutral and I want to keep this the brightest white up above here because um well, I want to add them grasses in all right so I'm going to come back I'm going to add a little bit more of a shadow right in here. A couple of them. I want to add. And so the on the front side of those we'll try and highlight because the snow is lighter in front of a hole. Is that I mean does that make sense? I like I said I'm not the best with my words. Okay. 
Okay. It's getting tacky, and that's when I really like to work with it. Um, it gives you a lot more texture, and it's just awesome to work with it. Completely get that off of there. I'm coming back and putting that bright white in. Actually, I do have a brighter white than that. I should try. Let me try that. It's the acrylic white instead of the chalk paint white. Let's see if that even shows up a little bit more. It does, so that's, that is good. All right, good, good, good. So we're gonna go here and make that more noticeable. I know you guys can't probably tell, but, um, I'll lift it up here in a second as soon as I get what I want it done here. And I'm just still working with that white. I can't I got I'm waiting to see it in the other camera the the different colors of gray blue gray white and white white can you guys tell that Here, do a little bit more white, white here, white, white here. I'm just doing the white, 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 white up top. So I think I'm gonna get it, quit playing with that. Yes, we have a mess. Always a mess with the weights. Because, actually, do we wanna start on the church tonight? I don't know that we want to. We could probably get that darker color on there. I have so much of this white that I need to actually get. I'm going to just put this on here because I have so much excess. We'll come back and work with it. Trust me. I'm just going to get this on there because I don't want to waste all this. I don't know what time it is. Am I past my my time that I should be talking? I don't know. I have to look. I have to look. What time did I start? I think I'm I'm about an hour, so I think I'm just gonna use up this white, you guys, and get it on the church, just so I don't waste it. All This is all I'm doing. Um, that's not white. I'm gonna put my cross back up on there. It got blended out.
just using this up. That's all. And this is going to give it some texture, of course. Give it some texture. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the... I'm going to do a hint of the the siding, but it's not going to be a big thing. Holy moly, we got a lot of white yet. Good gravy. I get carried away all the time. It's okay if I have brown in there, it'll get covered up tomorrow. So it will get covered up. I have to spread that out a little bit more. That was a too much of chunkiness. I can go over the door a little bit. All right. the camera here on me. Oh, good gravy. I look like Credola. You know, I was out in the sun all day yesterday, and like I said, I have, you know, today was, and so now I think the sun is finally hitting me. From yesterday, I think I got sunburnt. And, um, like I said, it was a crazy day. As soon as I got off work, I had to go fill in a trench out in the garden because the guy came and put the pipe in, which is great. I'm not complaining about that. I just was not ready to, was unexpected to do that right away after work. I'm not crying, I promise. I'm just, I'm just tired and wore out and kind of spent. <laughs> I love you guys. I do, I do, I do. So tomorrow night we'll come back and we'll keep working on this. Um, we'll probably work on the church mainly. I want to let this snow set up and everything set up so there's nice texture. Uh, and we'll come back with the liner brush and do some things. So, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye.